here we have the step two of the canvas that's all trimmed away. And then we want to apply it to the wool. Um, this suit is a double-faced wool, and so the plaid side that you might think would be the right side, the designer is really wanting to use the, the brown side. So don't be confused. I am not applying this to the outside of the wool. We're making a brown suit. <laughs> All right, the first thing you want to do on, uh, before applying the canvas to the suit is to um, thread mark the true center front line and the button placement on the suit coat, on the, on the wall, so that we can find that again once we've covered up the markings with the canvas. Then line your, uh, the edge of your hymo that you carefully trimmed uh, along the front line, pin that in place, matching, being very careful to match the, uh, the roll line here. This is where you want to be very careful if you were making a plaid suit. This is where you would set up where that first button is, where the break line or roll line begins, and that is what will make your plaid from this side to the other side match up. So be very careful with this step. Wanting to match up the roll line, neckline, smoothing the wool underneath. Uh, for beginning tailors, which is what this class is and what these samples are for, I pin this on, matching all of those marks uh, and making sure that it's on smooth. Then, on the outside, you want to use do a basting line. We want the canvas and the wool to hang together. Uh, nicely for the duration. We're going to be using, um, uh, handling this a lot. We don't want them to get lumped up or we want them to stay in the relationship that we'll be finishing in. To baste the layers together, uh, you can use uh, basting thread. It's a 20 ounce uh, glazed thread and the glazing makes it uh, smooth and slides right through right through the canvas and wall and makes it very easy to work with. You're going to want to baste up the front, down uh, up the center, and you'll want to start stop uh, a couple inches from the shoulder seam. That's because in a later uh, step we'll want to fold the canvas out of the way, stitch the shoulder seam, and then uh, lay the canvas over that. So why go all the way to the edge when in a later stitch or later step you'll need to get into there. Baste up the center, baste up the edge of the hymo or canvas. I'll turn it over so you could see here. Baste up here next to the arm's eye and then baste up the front to here. You can at this point machine a flat line the canvas to the arm's eye, again stopping a couple inches from the shoulder here. That lays that all in and you're checking to make sure that the wool is smooth and give that a nice press before we launch into taping the roll line. To tape the roll line, we use tailor's tape. It comes in a variety of uh, ways. I buy this enormous spools because we use it a lot. And it again is a lightweight, thin um, uh, tape that is great for stabilizing these areas. I have seen good effect in taking the tape from exactly the roll line from what will become the outside edge. I've seen other tape, uh, tailors start taping at what, if you extended the center front line, I've seen it started here for a softer effect here. It just depends on the style and the fabric and the personal hand of the tailor. Some people do a hand sewing, uh, hand based, and that's what they use to stabilize this roll line. Uh, because our garments go into stock and hang on the hangers and we use, they're in there for years, if not a, 
over a decade, I like to stabilize and really um, interface uh, my, my suit. So I use the tape. Starting at the brake line and working up to the neck, the lower two inches, I just lay the tape on flat. Then, because this is the round of the chest on the gentleman, I want to draw the tape, pull the tape this way a little bit. And how do you know what that is? I make a pencil mark and pull the tape an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths, and draw that up. What that does is creates a roundness so that the, um, the suit coat and the, the roll line there will follow the curve of the torso in the upper chest area on the client, on the actor that's going to be wearing this. And then uh, over that, once we get past that curve of the chest area, up toward the neck, that's really more of a flat plane on the body. And so I just lay it on flat, not pulling it up anymore. And this stabilizes this line and keeps it drawn slightly in toward the torso so that it uh, doesn't hang away from the chest of the gentleman. Then what you need to do is do a small slip stitch down each edge of the tape to stabilize that. I've cut this uh, three or four inches long because this roll line on the chest front runs into the roll line on the under collar and when we stitch the under collar on in a later uh, step, we may want to bridge that, stabilize and bridge that uh, roll line from lapel into the under collar and we may want to use that. Another specialty thread that is uh, really handy to use during this process, it speeds up your work, are these skeins of pre-waxed thread. Um, there are various brands, even though this is not the Silamide brand, I have just in the habit of using Silamide, I always call it Silamide. Um, you never want to pull the uh, threads from this triangle, makes a lumpy mess, everyone will know you're an amateur. You always want to pull the thread from the bottom. Once you have this slip stitched uh, down each side, leaving that tail, then we need to stabilize just the front edge and carry that down to the hem. You'll do the same application of the uh, tailor's tape, lining the tailor's tape up with the edge of your canvas. You don't want to pull this, you want to lay it on nice and smooth and there again uh, slip stitch loosely, uh, not pulling your thread when you're hand sewing. You don't want to pull your thread tightly because it will bunch up and pucker up and set up a tension on this line that uh, we do not want. We just want to lay this on slip stitch down each side and uh, stabilize that edge. On the inside edge, I'll do it this way to show you what not to do. Make sure on this edge that you're stitching just to the canvas. You don't want to be stitching through to the wool side because we don't want to see those pinpricks of stitching on the outside. So be very careful with that. So carry that down and around the curve and end that there. So then we will have stabilized the front, stabilized the roll line. Then it's time to pad stitch our lapel. Thank you.